Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a Mediterranean salad Very utilizing nice. these beautiful um, platinum processor. Correct. And and the, and the five-piece gourmet knife set. Very nice. All right. So you're going to be working with the processor. I'm going to be working with the knives. It's not a race, but... Okay, not, okay. You know... We're but we're a little damage. competitive here. <laughs> it seems that way. Feel, so we're going to be spotlighting I, I, I the two like, hosting items here. That's correct. Okay. So um, Mediterranean salad, what I want you to process, yep. first of all, cucumbers on the bottom, then okay. right on top of that, you can do the red onion, and then on top of that, I want a little zest of lemon, so Very nice. I'm, there's going to be a switch out I have you at the end. There's going to be some swapping going on here. Okay. And then, uh, last but not least, feta yep. cheese. Then... I'm going to be mixing um, ingredients here, and we're going to bring them together. We're going to finish it off with a little vinaigrette. So let's let's go. Let's start. Let's right? go. You're ready. So holding your knife, your, your Mr. Stoll, uh, 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 chef's knife correctly with your thumb and knuckle in the air. And just, I'm just cutting right down the middle. Oh my gosh. You don't, yeah, go ahead. You we're going to take the number three cone. This machine comes with all five cones. We're going to use the number three. Smaller the number, smaller the cut. Bigger the number, bigger the cut. So we're going to put on the number three cone here. And we're going to start with our cucumber. Look at this. Perfect bite size. Wow, those are great. Isn't that nice? nice? Yeah. So you still have the crunch. You know, you know, you know, it's not so small that you're losing out. Oh. Isn't that nice? Ugh. That's impressive. And you can put your hand right inside. There's no cutting on here to take it off. You just put the handle backwards and it's ready to go. Next one we're going to do, actually we're going to keep the number three cone on. We're going to do the red onion next. Look at this. Rick, for the red onion, we're going to put it right on here just like so. Look at those nice, big red onion chunks Oh, that's in there. awesome, man. Isn't that great? Is it the same? Uh, same, um, same cone. Cone. And hand inside again. Won't cut you. Look at those nice, big red chunks in here. It's perfect. I'll do one more. Get the other half in here. And how are those being done? Um, well, I just used my uh, utility knife to take out the uh, the center pieces, the, the, okay. the, the seeds and the, and the little ribs and whatnot. And th this is more, this is for sweetness, you know. Very nice. Some people add carrots. I like to add peppers. Okay. Just, right? And then holding your knife, just, you know. Oh, I would only I, do that once because I wouldn't be able to do it again. I'd lose my fingers. No, no. You ride your knuckle along the back. Is that's that right? How, that's how, yeah. That's so you have your fingers kind of curved, in. curved okay. in a little bit. And so, and, and this, this blade rides along the knuckle. knuckle. And so you're just kind of sliding your knuckles along. I just Unbelievable. We're going to go with the number one cone right now. We're going to show you how to do zest. We're going to put that on there. And you just bounce the lemon across the top. And we're just going to take the part out of here. You know what's really nice? You can actually put this in a little dish, put it in your room, and your room will smell like lemon. It'll be a little lemon zest room. So we're going to take this right off here. If you can see, we're just kind of bouncing it across and getting all that lemon zest out of here. This thing's fantastic. It's also good, believe it or not, this number one cone for making a pie crust. You can do graham crackers on here for a pie crust. Oh, I love it. So That's very perfect. nice. No more crushing it in a bag. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so peppers. Let's see what else we're going to put in here. Some olives. What are we going to do with olives? We're just going to kind of cut them in half, I guess, right? Look at that. Just bouncing it across the top. And I'll show you how's that. Oh, that's perfect, too. Look at that. You know, it doesn't take off uh, the, the, the pith. No, you know, the, the, which is the, the, right. The white part that's a little bitter. Yep. It just gets the outer outer layer where all the oils and the aromatics and everything. Right, because if you go too deep, does it become, what, bitter? A little bitter, yes. A little bitter. So there we go. We put some of that lemon zest in there. And the last one that we're going to do, we're going to do some feta cheese. You can also do regular cheese. You can do cheddar cheese, anything on here for grating. But we're going to go back to the number three cone. We're going to take a fresh block of feta cheese, which is right here. Wow. And we'll show you this. Look at this, how it perfectly crumbles this. Watch this. Look at that. Oh, man. Look no, at that. You didn't. No, you Are you didn't. kidding me? No, you didn't. Look at that. That's crazy. Is that nice or is that nice? Man, no. I tell you what, you can earn these gifts just by hosting shows. Did you know that? That's insane. Isn't that great? I take that off. One. I want one. Just I a quick one. rinse and yeah. it's ready to go. Uh, let's put a tomato in there, too. Right, so I like to. Now how important to have a sharp knife to be able to cut tomatoes? You don't squash the tomato. That's right. Yeah. And as long as you're sliding your knife, you're sliding the blade, and you're you're slide then, the blade. It's a moving blade that that cuts clean. Okay. Right? Okay. So because think of a of a you know a, a meat slicer, you know, a delicatessen. Yeah. That's circular blade, but it's spinning, so it cuts those super thin slices of prosciutto and whatever else that you. Know. Right. I like I like chunks of tomato. Oh, look at that. What else can you? That's well. You, you're done. This is so fast. How come you're so fast? You're so <laughs> crazy. Normally, with those onions, I'd be over here crying. Get so emotional over those onions. No, nothing. I don't feel that the uh, the, the strength of the of, of the onion. Now, would you ever put salt and pepper in here or anything like that, or do you stay away from that for more of a Greek style uh, Mediterranean? Style? I put it in at the end because if you add it sooner, it's going to start pulling the moisture out of your tomatoes and your cucumbers and everything. Is that right? Yep. Yep, and sometimes I do want to 
add salt to my cucumbers and let them sit in the salt so that it, for something like a cucumber salad that's going to last more than a day. Yeah. And I don't want to water down. This is super simple. This pinch of oregano, some olive oil, gosh, that salt and pepper. Look at this. Right? So we're just going to put all of this together on top. Oh, my other. gosh. This is going to give it a quick mix. Unbelievable. But we're going to have some avocado and... Now, there's always, there's always arguments, and you can go online, what's the best way to get into an avocado? Well, I, well, I do the old, old school way. Okay. I just, you know, go down yep. to the blade, right down the middle of the, to the yep. seed, roll around the seed, twist the two, you know, and that's that. Now, I know people tell you not to do this. Uh, the, um, there you go. But usually just a quick, yeah. if, if, if the avocado's soft, this one's slightly firm, which is cool because then you can really um, cut it the way you want to. Right. You know, some, too soft and it's like kind of melting butter. In yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Right? Too so weird. take a utility knife, cut them in quarters, peel back the skin real simple oh, like that. Geez. That thing that you got over there, that machine there is just blown, blows me away. Well, really, what is it like when you're in the kitchen? How important is it to have the right set of tools? Oh, extremely important. Yeah. You know, like, this is like John Henry over here. You know, I'm, I'm swinging an axe and you got that. You know, pile, pile, pile driver, <laughs> yeah, yeah. machine or something. It's important, isn't it? Okay, you, want, you know what you can do? Yeah. If you don't mind. Oh, by the way, Show this me. knife is ridiculously helpful when you're yeah. cutting through something that's like uh, got a, a firm texture like spaghetti squash or okay. something that just saws right through it, makes makes a joke out of it. Now, to, I want you to do some clip in here. What so is this? This, this is, this is a parsley, parsley and mint. And mint. Oregano is also great And just start here, clipping some of the tops off. Yeah. Oh, these shears. Yeah, holy shear. Holy shear. <laughs> that's incredible. Throw some out. And it's not pulling at them at all, is it? No. It's no, and that's, just it's taking them off. Right you know. So we're going to we're getting down to that. cut our lemon in half, get some lemon in there, some olive oil, some salt and pepper. So here. The salt I'm going to be light on only because okay. the feta cheese, you want that feta cheese to surprise you with okay. some, some of that, you know, salty deliciousness. You can oh, put a little man. extra olive oil in the Mediterranean salad too. A little extra. And this is mint? It's mint. Gosh. You're a boy I can smell that now. Oh, what the heck? Let's just do oh, it. Oh, look at that. Are you kidding? Old school. Yeah, you know. We got the squeezer is too small. Right. All right, huh? No, I'll I don't mix think I'll ever be a seamstress. I'll mix it with my hand. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're good? Oh, I'll work. And look at these. This is one of the nice parts about that. Come right apart, easy for cleaning. Isn't that great? Yeah, I, that's a feature I, yeah. I, I, I love. Oh my gosh, look at that. There you go. You put a little more oil on there. Want to pour some on there? Yeah, Dri you drizzle, bet. drizzle you some oil my Just way. Just a little more oil? Yeah. Here we go. And the zest was on the bottom, right? Yep. Yeah. You say when? That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Good and teamwork. There you go, my friend. Oh, look at that. Chop, chop, chop. Are you kidding? Easy peasy squeezy. That is stunning. Working, look at that. Working with Platinum Products makes my day. Oh, me too.